Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Let's Build series with me, the Nano Raccoon. So what we are going to be building in this episode is a cool uh, medieval type build. And for those of you who have not seen it, it is actually something that I had built on the Useless Gamers Attached to the B Team server. And I figured I would try and incorporate a way to build it with vanilla blocks so then all of you guys can have fun building it. So I just decided to go ahead and start building it to save time. Um, the blocks I am using is stone bricks, mossy stone bricks, cracked stone bricks, stone stairs, stone brick stairs. Uh, and these are going to be the main blocks that I use at, throughout the build. You do not have to use these if you don't want to. But because this is going to be a medieval build, for me at least, these are my preferred choice of building blocks. <laughs> <clears throat> so first off, what you want to do is you want to make, you want to go four high up. On the third one up, you're going to place one stone brick facing one way and right not on the complete opposite, but on the side next to it, you're going to place another stone brick going outward. And then you're going to count over by three. Well, four. One, two, three, four. And on the fourth one, you're going to once more place four blocks high up. And then you're just going to start to build an arch. And above each of these stone brick stairs, you're going to have a whole block, whether that can be stone brick, stone mossy brick, or cracked stone brick. And then in between those two blocks and that one gap to fill it up, you're going to place one upside down stone brick. You want to make sure you have two arches on each side. Now what you're going to want to do is, um, I guess you can really go on either side. So I'm going to start with this one. You're going to count two blocks in. One, two. And then you're just going to go ahead and place the birch slabs. And the reason why I am using slabs is so then no hostile mobs can spawn. So after you do that. If you look here, not on this pillar here, but on the second one, well, on the middle one here, you're going to count three inwards. One, two, three. And on the third one, that's where you're going to bring it up. And then you're going to count four up, four going along this way. One, two, three, four. And then bam. You're just going to repeat the same, whoops, same pattern that you have here. Uh, that you have out here and here. Now we're going to leave this blank for a moment. I'm going to get to why in a moment. <laughs> and then let's do the same thing over here. Stone brick. Bam, bam, bam. And just like on that side, we're going to leave this one open. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take that one little dirt block and fill it in with um, birch. So next up, actually, I need to grab cobble here. Okay, cool beans. So next up, what you're going to do is you're going to place three high up like this. And I see this is going to interfere with the road. Why is there cobblestone beneath this? Oh, well, let me just place this in right here. Um, sorry about this, folks. I did not anticipate this having to go into the cobble what are you do i'm gonna just leave you there so now this is going to be our doorway and then what you're going to do is make a single doorway here you're going to place an upside down stair like that next up what you are going to do is place start off with three high place an up place a normal stair three high up normal stair three high up and then what you're going to do if I jump around, it's because I'm trying my best to remember how to do this one. Uh, so you're going to notice you're going to start to have like half of a circle going on right here. So you want to repeat that pattern. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have one, two, three, four, five. Yep. Three pillars, two windows high up. And then you're going to repeat whoops, the same pattern you did over there, over here. And in this one space here, you're going to place a normal stair. Now, as you can tell, like I said, you're starting to get some type of a symmetrical type of feel going on so let's just repeat that bam leave these two blank here jump three over from this one one two three three high up 
one, two, three. And you should start to have something like this starting to take shape. So next up, what you are going to do is this is going to be like a little main room type of thing. So you're going to continue the pattern over here going four high up. Now the reason why we left these blank is because, um, actually no. You're gonna you're gonna keep those pillars, but you're gonna remove the block like that. Um, I'm, 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 my bad, my bad. So what you're gonna do? And let me just go ahead and grab a slug slab here. Is you're gonna place these down, and then you're gonna create a pillar on the middle block, and then on the fourth one up, what you're going to do. It's just place an upside down stair like this. There you go. And this is going to act as our windows. Now, what we want to do from here, now that we have this pattern going on, is you're going to do the same thing over here. That, excuse me. Next up, you're going to just go over here like this. One, two, three, four. Upside down stair. Upside down stair. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So now, once again, everything should start to, you know, look symmetrical or identical to each other. Oh, look, you got out of the way. That's good. Now I can just clear out that hot bar. Okay. So next up, what you are going to do is you're going to count out words one, two, three. Okay. Bam. So now this is where it's going to get a little interesting. You're going to place little arches going along like a cell. Okay. And so now where you have like this little L shape or whatever, or this V shape, whatever you want to, whichever way you want to look at it, what, you're just going to place a stone brick on top of each one. Oops. And in these spaces where you just have one, you're going to place it down like this. Up here, you're going to create the arch even more broad, if that's the right word. I don't know, you guys. And then you're just going to start to all around the whole perimeter, bring it up by one once more. Oops, that goes like that. Okay, so next up, one, two, three. When, uh, Stone brick stair, one, two, three. One, two, three. Stone brick stair, one, two, three. One, two, three. Stone brick stair, one, two, three. Now, this part, I always had trouble, well, I had trouble trying to figure out if it was going to look right. Um, the best way I can tell you guys is, if you did that part right, is say you're walking down against this wall, and you have this window right here in front of you. And that means, well, you did it right. If that window is off by a block, then I encourage you guys to go back and check this video again. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is actually going to interfere. All right, you guys, so aside from taking down this ugly little house, I also just filled in the flooring with spruce slip slabs. Now, the reason why I say that you want to leave a two block gap right here is because we're actually going to have a fireplace here. Um, I'm not actually 100% sure if this is not going to burn up. Because I built this through modded Minecraft on the Useless Gamers Attack of the B Team server, uh, it showed me that it wasn't going to burn up, so I at least hope it won't. Actually, no, no, no. So your fireplace is going to look like this. And the reason why I would like to begin working on it just for right now is because um, there you go. It's because as I build, continue to build this, I want to make sure that it actually is fire resistant. Hopefully that will do the trick. Mainly we just do not want this spruce slabs here to burn up. So while that's going on, what you're going to do is you're gonna go one two one two three one two three one two three bam 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 all right so next up 
what you're going to have is you're going to start to create wait yeah so you're going to bring this pattern out like a so all right and then you're going to bring the pattern out once more i think that's what i did here wait a minute no 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 my bad okay yeah, yeah bring this pattern out like this and let's just get this dude out of the way here uh, excuse me dude so the next up you're going to place an upside down stair like a so whoops and then from here what you're going to do is start to create a little doorway like that And then you're gonna do the exact same thing over here. Now for this, you're gonna wanna have a window idea that's just like what's right here. Okay, good, nothing's burning. <laughs> and so then you should then you should then have something like so it turns out that that is actually the correct uh, way that I had it where you just want to go From this pillar you want to go one block adjacent and then you're gonna place your little archway like here And then to make your doorway look more neat You're gonna place an upside down stair and then adjacent to that end of the archway You're then gonna place your block like it so one two and then on the fourth one up like I said, your window over here should be identical to the way it's going to be over here. So now that our house is starting to take some more shape, let me just give you an aerial view. Although that does concern me as to why... As to why that spruce slab decided to burn up. Hmm. Alright, we're not going to worry about that right now. So what we're going to do here... Is we're gonna get we're gonna create a spiral staircase. That's right, folks. Spiral staircase. <laughs> um, actually, what I'm gonna quickly do off camera is I'm gonna fill in the gaps. Well, the second floor. Now that we have the second floor pretty much established here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna base your spiral staircase off of this one spruce slip slab right here. Well, it doesn't have to be a spruce block, but uh, for my medieval builds, I like to use spruce. Whoops. So what you're going to do is you're just going to go one level down with each slid slab. Okay, there we go. And there we go. Bam. And then bam. So hello, Mr. Testificate. So now your spiral staircase is going to begin to look something like this. And this is what your inside of each room is going to look, look like. Now to fill in the gaps here, what we're going to do is because we want to make sure we have enough space here that we have over here, pretending this fireplace does not exist, you're going to want to then place just, for me at least, I like to mix it up and use different blocks if I can, just to give it that, just to give this build that wear and tear kind of feel. Yeah. And then bam, there's your door. Or well, actually, actually, we're gonna need these to be whole blocks. And I'll show you guys why in a moment. And then I'm gonna cap off the video video here. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'm just gonna quickly do the work on the sides that I know are identical to other sides. Um, bam. So now we're going to place window, window, Four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, bam, bam. If you kind of get the feel already, uh, your windows are going to mainly be too high up just to give it that fancy ex that fancy extravagant look. Now, for this part here, you do not have to use spruce slid slabs. You can use any type of slabs as you wish. Um, 
But for me at least, I just like to have whoops. I like I just like to use three slabs because it I don't know. I like how they look. So now we're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, four. Whoops. One, two, three, four. 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 And so now what you're going to do basically here is you're going to follow the exact same kind of pattern that you did down below. Let me just light this up for you guys so that way you can see it or clearly better, whatever. Bam, bam. And then like so, fill in the gaps. Oops. Fill up these one gaps with one by with a stair. And then what you're gonna do here is you're actually gonna place an upside down stair. Just to give your window some detail. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Upside up. Upside down stair. Bam. Bam. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then for this side, I decided to use normal stairs just to. Hello there. Just to give it. Um, yeah, that's four. Just to give it some diversity because we're so used to uh, using the upside down stair on the other parts. So now what we're going to do here is just fill this in actually. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, oops, two three, four. Hmm. Okay. Four, one, two, three, four. And as you can tell, right on top of the upside down stair, I'm just placing a normal stair. And now I'm just going to clear this weather because it really likes to rain a lot in all of my Minecraft worlds for whatever reason. I just don't know why. <laughs> and. Oh, I forgot to place my stairs. Yeah. Okay. Now, this is going to do it for this episode. Well, for this part of this Let's Build video. Mainly because you got. Mainly because I am actually. Yeah, this is going to be three high up. I had to try and remember that for a moment. The reason why I'm going to end this video so abrupt is because I am curious to see what all of you lovely guys out there have to say. Um, what's a medieval build without its spruce door? <laughs> uh, but yeah, you guys, so I'm curious to see what you guys have to say about this build so far. Uh, part 2 will be coming out on Friday. so. You guys can look forward to that. We're just going to place some more spruce stairs here. Place upside down stone brick stairs. Bam. And then bam. Oh. I forgot the ledges. Excuse me, test certificate. I don't want you to fall. Excuse me. Wait a minute. Okay. Bam. Bam. And what I'm just going to do right here real quick is create the railing. Um, just so then this can help me make it a lot more quicker. I like to have my hot bar as organized and clean as I can for whatever it is that I'm doing in regards to it. So, bam. So overall, your build should look something like this. What I'm going to do as I close up is just fill in some of these aesthetic parts. Uh... Yeah, so do let me know what you think of this build so far. If you like, excuse me, if you like the design, 
then give that video then give this video a thumbs up for me please it does let me know what you guys like to see and what you guys do not like to see and if you have some ideas as to how this could also turn out uh feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section because i have absolutely no problem at all switching up a build design even though i already have it finished uh just to um let you guys feel more content with it so other than that you guys thank you so much for tuning in and until next time peeps this is vanilla raccoon peace out